Hello, welcome to the next lecture, beta, in which we are going ahead and we are starting with section 20.2. And we're going to talk about compound interest and present discounted value. Now, we've already gone ahead and we have already seen this kind of difference equation. And we have seen that whenever the difference equation is of the form, xt is equal to a xt minus 1 plus bt, the solution to this difference equation is this. It is xt is equal to a to the power t x naught plus summation k from 1 to t a to the power t minus k b k. Ye iska solution is form mein aata hai. We have already seen this in the first section. Now, let us assume that you have a certain amount of money with you that you are saving. But jabhi bhi hum paisa save karte hain, so on that money you will earn interest. So whatever money you are saving, let's assume that you are earning some interest on that money. So let's say that the size of that amount that you have, jo bhi aap paisa bacha rahe ho, that is WT. Let's say CT is your withdrawals for consumption and let's say YT are your deposits. So YT hai jo paisa mein account mein dal rahi hu, CT jo mein withdraw kar rahi hu aur kisi bhi point of time pe jo meri wealth hai wo WT hai. So how can I go ahead and how can I represent this wealth? I can say that whatever is the difference between income and consumption wo meri savings ho rahi hai, that, that is getting added to my wealth. So I can say that income minus consumption are my savings. That is the component of my wealth. Ye meri wealth mein add ho raha hai. And secondly, what I can go ahead and I can say is whatever last year's wealth was, jo bhi meri pichle saal ki wealth thi, on that last year's wealth, I am earning some interest rate R. So this year's wealth, is saal meri wealth kitni hogi? It will be last year's wealth, jitni bhi pichle saal thi. Plus interest on last year's wealth, pichle saal ke wealth pe maine kuch interest kamaya. Plus the savings of this year, is saal maine kuch aur paisa bachaya. I have saved some money this year also. So when we go ahead and when we write it like this, this becomes the equation of my wealth. Ha beta. Achha, okay, now just see this thing. I have just gone ahead and taken this and this together. So I have taken wt minus 1 common. I get 1 plus r plus yt minus ct. This is my wt. Beta, if I compare this, if I compare this with my difference equation, ek bari yaha pe difference equation se compare karo. This was my difference equation we had given. So difference equation of it was of the format xt is equal to a x t minus 1 plus b t. So if I just compare it with that, kya hume yaha pe dikh raha hai ki xt is equal to a x t minus 1 plus b t. So beta, I can clearly see that this a is nothing but 1 plus r. And I can clearly see that this b t is nothing but y t minus c t. So I have this A component also and I have this B component also. Mere paas dono hi components available hain. I have both the components available. So now we have already seen ki agar hamari difference equation is format mein ho. If I have this difference equation in this format, then the solution to this difference equation looks like this. Uska solution kuch aisa dikhta hai. Haan beta. So now instead of A everywhere in the solution, I can plug 1 plus R. And instead of B, I can plug Yt minus Ct. So this is exactly what I have gone ahead and done. Everywhere instead of A, I can plug 1 plus R. And instead of Bt, I can plug Yt minus Ct. So this is my solution. A ki jagah pe, I have written 1 plus R everywhere. And instead of B, pe B tha, I have written Yk minus Ck ya by Yt minus Ct. And then I have just said that K goes from 1 to T. So this becomes a solution to your wealth equation. This is a solution to your wealth equation. Clear beta? So we have been able to go ahead and find solution to our wealth equation. Ye jo humne solution nikala hai, it is based on section 20.1 only, where we found out how to find solution to difference equation. 
इट्स जस्ट दैट इन दिस केस वी वर गिवन एन एप्लीकेशन जहां पर हमें वेल्थ के फॉर्म में सोल्यूशन निकालना था ओके नाउ लेट से दैट सपोज आई टेल यू दैट ओके माई टी इज हंड्रेड दैट मीन्स आई हैव बीन सेविंग मनी फॉर हंड्रेड ईयर्स तो बेटा यहाँ पे हंड्रेड डल जाएगा यहाँ पे हंड्रेड डल जाएगा यू कैन पुट टी एज हंड्रेड and you can forecast how many money you will have in your account after 100 years kitna paisa 100 year mein aapke paas hoga you can go ahead and you can forecast that now what i can go ahead and do is throughout throughout ye jo mera equation hai in this equation throughout i can divide by 1 plus r to the power t so ek bari i am just taking this out and i am saying i will divide throughout with 1 plus r to the power हा बेटा सो इफ आई डिवाइड दिस थ्रू आउट विद वन प्लस आर टू दावर टी यू विल नोटिस दैट हियर इट विल गेट कैंसल्ड दिस पार्ट बेटा दिस इज कमिंग इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो इफ आई हैव टू टेक दिस टू द न्यूमरेटर द पावर विल बी नेगेटिव सो आई हैव गॉन अहेड एंड रिटर्न वन प्लस आर टू द पावर माइनस टी इन टू डब्ल्यू टी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू नॉट प्लस एंड इफ यू जस्ट नोटिस यहाँ पे मेरा टी माइनस के पावर था और डिनोमिनेटर में टी पावर है सो वेन पावर इज वेन बेस इज सेम पावर विल गेट सब्ट्रैक्टेड सो इट विल बी टी माइनस के माइनस टी ना इट विल बी टी माइनस के माइनस टी ना सो इट विल ओनली बी माइनस के आर यू गेटिंग दिस पॉइंट when base is same power will get subtracted so it will be t minus k minus t so power will be minus k so what i have gone ahead and done there for beta is that here i have taken the power to be minus k i hope this is clear to everyone okay now just try to interpret this thing beta isko hum bolte hain present discounted value we call this as present discounted value let me give you an example सपोज बेटा आई टेल यू कि आपको मैं हंड्रेड रुपीज दूंगी बट आई विल गिव यू दिस आफ्टर वन ईयर एंड आई आस्क यू वॉट इज इट्स वैल्यू टूडे इसकी वैल्यू आज के टाइम पे क्या जो मैं आपको एक साल बाद पैसा देने वाली हूँ सो यू विल टेल मीट विल बी हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस आर बेटा सपोज आई टेल यू दैट आई विल गिव यू दिस हंड्रेड रुपीज बट आई विल गिव यू दिस आफ्टर टू ईयर्स मैं दो साल बाद आपको ये पैसा दूंगी What will be its value today? Its value today. So you will 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 tell me it will be 100 divided by 1 plus r square. So similarly, if I tell you that I will give you this 100 rupees, but but I will give you this after t years, and I again ask you, its value today. Its time pe kya? So you will tell me 100 divided by 1 plus r to the power t. This is called as present discounted value. So if I just go ahead and I look here, beta, I am saying W. Is ko agar me dekho, this is W T divided by one plus R to the power T. So I am getting this money after T years, na. So I need to find its value today, na, beta. So it is going to be this called as present discounted value. Ye samajh me aaya baat. So if you get it after five years, uski aaj ki value ho gayi W to the uh, W divided by one plus R to the power five. Okay, beta. Now similarly अगर मैं इसको ओपन अप करूं इफ आई जस्ट ओपन दिस अप हाँ इसको देखते हैं ध्यान से बेटा सो दिस इज समेशन वाई के अपॉन वन प्लस आर टू द पावर के माइनस समेशन सी के अपॉन वन प्लस आर टू द पावर के तो बेटा ये तो प्रेजेंट डिस्काउंटेड वैल्यू इनकम स्ट्रीम की हो गई और ये प्रेजेंट डिस्काउंटेड वैल्यू कंजम्पन स्ट्रीम की हो गई सो द फर्स्ट वन रिप्रेजेंट द प्रेजेंट डिस्काउंटेड वैल्यू ऑफ द इनकम स्ट्रीम right beta so total present value of the deposits of those money that i'm putting in the account and beta ck represents all my withdrawals so it is the total present discounted value of all withdrawals now just imagine if i tell you that my wealth in period 0 and wealth in period t are equal to each other ki jitna paisa mere paas aaj hai 100 saal baad bhi utna hi hai i have the same money today and after 100 years what does this mean that my total income and consumption have been equal only i did not save a single penny extra right that is what it would mean so you started with some money say you started with zero and you ended your account with zero so but if here if here if i just go back to my initial equation and i put wt as zero and w not as zero i started with zero i ended with zero so what will i get 
I will get CK is equal to YK in the present discounted value. So I will get this part equal to this part. You can just put it in this equation and check. I will plug 0 here, 0 here. So ye pura eliminate, okay, it will just be 0. And then I can just take this part keep here and this part I can take here. Ha beta. So I will have that the value of total consumption will be equal to value of total income. It means that whatever money I earned, whatever money I am putting in the account, exactly that much money I am withdrawing from the account. Such that my wealth that I started with, I ended with the same wealth. Clear way, but beta. Okay. Now, I am going to take a case of mortgage repayment. Now, we will take an example where we have mortgage repayment. So, try to see.